Hi everyone, this is Terry, and I wanted to show you how to use some of the built-in templates in PE Design 11, and also show you how to create some of your own templates, like I created a quilt label and a little blouse monogram. Let's first use some of the built-in template designs. If the wizard is not open, we'll close it. You can select the wizard by dropping down to wizard in the main menu. So we'll choose Use Template Design. There are several categories that you can select from. We'll go ahead and choose Shirts, Chess, and let's choose the Soccer Design. And the first thing that you notice is that there is a design and then there's also a text. You have the ability to change the text by selecting it and choosing Edit Text. So let's put a name there and choose Next. Now this output screen appears and I can send the design directly to my machine or I can open this in the design page to change something. Let's say perhaps that I wanted to change the color of the thread. So let's just open that up and I can select the name, select color, and let's make that red. If I like that, I can now save it, or I can go ahead and just send it to my machine from this menu and send to the network machine. Now, how do you create your own design? Well, let's clear this page. We'll say we don't want to save it. And let's go into import and choose a design to open. And we'll choose this little dog. And then let's choose some text. And I like this uh, block character font, but I can choose from several. I'll have a separate video on different fonts. So we'll use the block 5, and I like the size 0.80. I'll click on the screen and I'll type Memphis Club and you'll notice that this looks like it's transformed because I in the text attributes I have transform on I really don't want it to be transformed I want it to be just a um, straight text so I'll unclick that and leave it as Memphis Club and let's change the color of that to green. And the, the other thing I want to do is go back into my text attributes and make sure that name drop is selected. Once I've done that, now I can highlight this. And if I want to have the dog centered over the design, I can choose arrange and move to the center. Or I can align everything to the left and leave it as a vertical design. I like the look of that. So now is the time to say this is a template. I need to choose File, Save As. And when I choose Save As, I need to tell it where to save it. So you can see that I have my path as Windows, Program Files, x86 brother pe design library template library and i'm saving this under sample folder i can create my own folder if i want but let's just leave it as uh, the sample folder and let's call this the dog club and save now let's go into let's clear the screen and let's go into the wizard and let's choose use template design we'll go into the sample folder here's the memphis club we'll click memphis club and edit text and let's call this the dallas club and choose next and now I'm ready to send this to my machine or edit it, edit it 
in the design page. I hope this was helpful for you. If there are any videos that you would like me to record, please let me know. And please leave a comment on YouTube. I'd like to hear what you think of the videos. Thanks so much. Goodbye.